السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اسٹوڈنٹ اینڈ ویری گڈ مارننگ ٹو آل آف مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ اسٹوڈنٹ ٹوڈے ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از لاز آف ریفریکشن آف لائٹ لاز آف ریفریکشن اور اینڈ سنیلس لا اوکے لاز آف ریفریکشن اینڈ سنیلس لا وی ہیو ٹو لاز اوکے ہیئر وی ہیو ٹو لاز ول ڈسکس دیئر Now look at this. I am some. I am drawing some point. Look at this. This one is the medium one. Medium one and this one is the medium two. Medium one and medium two are ray of light coming from medium one and going to medium two. Or rarer medium two, denser medium. Rarer two, denser. Medium one is rarer and medium two is denser. Okay. Look at this. now what happened so we will put one normal make one normal dotted line okay dotted line so if the ray is not if if this two medium is not there if the ray is passing from one medium then it will pass like this straight it will not devi deviate okay okay now since the ray coming from one medium to another medium it will change its path it will not go in like that either it will go like that or it will go like that okay so rarer to denser rarer to denser then the light will pass will bend towards the normal this is the normal so this is the towards the normal this is away from the normal so the light will move away towards the normal why it is towards the normal for to know this please watch my previous video okay refractions now it changes this path it changes path the laws of refraction tells that number one point that this is called the incident ray incident ray this is refracted ray and this dotted line that is the imaginary line is called the normal okay laws of refraction tell that the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal all are at the same point of the same plane this is the first law the incident ray the normal at the point of incident and the refracted ray all lies in the same plane okay this is the first law it will not like that here incident ray like this normal is like that and reflected ray is like that no or it is also not like that incident ray this one normal is this one and reflected ray is like that no this is wrong this is wrong this is not the laws of refraction the laws of refraction first point is incident ray normal at the point of incident and refracted ray all are at the same plane and same point okay this is the same point and same plane clear this is the first law now the angle this is called the angle of incident this is called the angle of incident and this is called the angle of refraction okay i and r angle i and angle r now the second law is second law is the sine of i and sin of r is always constant is always constant is always constant sin of i and sin r you will uh, what is sin what is uh, sin cos you will study in math in class 10 the trigonometry okay sin theta cos theta tan theta so that sign there no need to uh, right here uh, nothing is calculated just uh, calculation is not there for sin i sin r okay here you will just uh, remember the angle of sin i and sin r the ratio of the sin i and sin r equal to constant and that is called mu it is denoted as mu m e u mu okay it's a greek or latin word okay alphabet mu okay and this constant is called refractive index refractive index refractive index very very important okay refractive index now first law incident ray refracted ray and normal all are at the same point or same plane same point and same plane 
फर्स्ट लॉ सेकेंड लॉ साइन आई एंड साइन आर दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज थर्टी डिग्री एंड दिस इज फिफ्टीन डिग्री सो साइन आई थर्टी बाई फिफ्टीन इट विल बी वन बाई टू इट विल ऑलवेज बी वन बाई टू I am giving one example. So this is a constant, one by two. If thirty will become sixty, then this will become thirty. Okay, then sixty by thirty, it is also one by two. If in if we increase the angle, then this will also increase it. So thirty by sixty again, it will be one by two. If you increase more, sixty will become sixty will become eighty. Then this will become forty. Okay. Then again, eighty by forty equal to one by two. So constant. The value will be the ratio will be constant. So this is the second law. Okay. And the second law is known as Snell's law. Snell's law. Second law is known as Snell's law. If the question will ask that state the laws of refraction, then you have to give the these two points with this diagram. But If they ask, if the question will ask that state the Snell's law, then you will put, you will draw this diagram and only tell the second point. The second point is called the Snell's law. Okay, and and from the Snell's law, we got the concept of refractive index. We will discuss about the refractive index in the next video. Okay, clear or later. Now, here this. Constant is denoted by. As I say, this constant is denoted by the symbol mu. This just use like say mu. Now, it is known as the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first medium. Mu is the speed of a light. Speed of a light in first medium and the a and the speed of a light is second medium. Okay. For example, here here medium one and medium two. Here medium one and medium two, so the speed of a light in the first medium with respect to the second medium, that is the ratio. Okay, so the formula for the mu is the speed of a light in first medium, and formula for the sec uh, and the speed of a light in second. For example, the for the speed of a light in first medium, uh, medium one is air and medium two, medium two is uh, medium two is water. Okay, now the speed of a light in first medium, medium air. The speed of light in air is three into ten to the power eight meter per second. Okay, and the speed of a light in water two point two five into ten to the power eight meter per second. So, this to ten to the power eight, ten to the power eight cancel meter per second, meter per second cancel. So three by two point five. If you calculate, the, then we will get four by three. Four by three. By calculating, we get one point three. One point three. Okay. Similarly, when a light travel from air to glass, air to glass, here this if this medium is air, the first medium is air and the second medium is glass. Okay, this is air, and we know the speed of light in glass is two meter per second. Two meter per second. So in first medium, we we'll put the speed of light in air three into ten to the power eight. And speed of a light in glass two into ten to the power eight. So this ten to the power eight, ten to the power eight cancel. Meter per second, meter per second cancel. Three by two equal to one point five. Okay, so this is constant. This is constant. Okay, refractive index of one medium to another medium is always constant. It will always constant. Okay, so we'll write. We'll say the refractive index of water is. 1.3 and refractive index of glass is 1.5 refractive index of water means ref that is uh, light travel from air to water that is 1.3 and light travel from air to glass that is 1.5 this is constant clear hope you have understood this one okay clear